I'm um, gonna go ahead and share my screen with you. Um, so I will show you um, up here. I do have that little chat feature. It looks like the little bubble that you talk with like cartoons. Um, I can see Melinda's already put her email in there. So if you wanna go ahead and type your email in there and I'm gonna put mine in here too. Um, just if, if you need, if for whatever reason, um, you don't get the, the recording. Um, so this is going to be a slideshow. Anybody that knows me knows I'm not the biggest fan of slideshows, um, but this is going to be a really good one. It's going to give you a lot of information. Um, so this is maximizing your digital profile. Uh, so we have something we could like to call a digital scorecard for Coldwell Banker, um, and that's basically your digital footprint. So we know that now more than ever, people are on the internet. Um, it, used to be they would say 95% of home buyers use the internet for their property search. I, I would dare say almost every client at some point is on the internet, whether they're on the internet with their agent um, or by themselves. So what's really important for us as we build our brand, we build our business under the umbrella of Coldwell Banker is having a digital footprint um, that maximizes who we are, what we offer, and what we do. Um, so we want to focus on our experience. If we're not as experienced, we could focus on our expertise. We have many tools available to us to become market experts in any given area. Um, you know, what area do you do business in? What sets you apart? Your digital profile is your why. Why would I call you as a client, a potential client, to sell my home when there are thousands of other agents out there to do so? Um, so we're going to kind of go through, um, you know, where places are, you know, that you should review, um, some recommendations, some helpful information of what should be included in those profiles, um, and then some next steps that you can take as well. Um, so the first one that we want to start with is our website. Um, we know that we get website uh, of a uh, website is included um, and no additional charge. You can go pro for one hundred seventy five dollars um, with your in touch account. But I have plenty of agents I work with that use the free version. It does work very well. And you'll see here are just some different examples of websites that real live agents in your area are utilizing. Um, and I say that because I like to show you that they all look very different. Um, they all have different headers, different fonts, different colors, different photos. Um, here we have Michelle's. She actually has her listing in the background and the title of it here. So someone can go and they can search for it. Um, here we have a team that is using Global Luxury. So their header is black instead of blue. Um, if you have your own logo, let's say you've gone through design concierge and you've had your own logo created, um, you can sit with your field marketing specialist. We can take the codes for the colors in your logo and create your website based on those colors as well. You're not required to use the Coldwell Banker Blue, although of course we recommend it for brand identity. But if you have your own branding out there, you're able to use those colors as well. <clears throat> so here we'll see there is a help tutorial. Um, they do have an extensive help desk in InTouch. Uh, we also have a lot of classes, workshops. I know we're moving back into having um, in-office workshops as well for your office specifically with your marketing specialists. Um, but we also do one-on-ones, whether they're virtual, they're in-person. Um, but the main thing that you want to do is go into my account in your InTouch system. Make sure that your contact information is correct. It's updated. Make sure that your title is Realtor or salesperson or um, associate broker. Uh, make sure that your name is the same that it is on your real estate license. Um, that's especially important if you are a Maryland licensed agent. Uh, for example, my mother named me Angela. I have never gone by that name a day in my life. I am Angie thrown through. Um, so when I got licensed, I did pay $25 to have Angie put on my license. 
Um, I don't actively sell because I don't compete with you guys. Um, but if I were to one day sell real estate, um, again, I would go through and I could put Angie on anything I wanted to, as long as it's on your license. Um, and the other thing too, is you want to have a headshot. Um, anytime that you guys hear me talk about a headshot, it is highly recommended you use the exact same headshot on every single site that I find you for real estate purposes. Um, the reason for that is if I find you on your in touch agent website and you have on a purple shirt and there's, you know, maybe you're standing in a park and there's trees in the background and then I find you on LinkedIn and you're wearing a red shirt and you have a blue background. I may not automatically be like, oh, maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Is this the same person? Um, I have seen some agents where they have an old photo some places and new photo some places and their hair is very different or any of that nature. So you always want to make sure you're using the same current headshot. Um, when I say current, I would have to say if someone were to look at your headshot and meet you in person, would they be like, oh, that, that doesn't look anything like you or does it look like you? Um, so that's what I mean about current. Does it, it could be within the last five years as long as you still look like that. Uh, and then a customized content, you want to have some in there for your home, uh, your home page, your sellers page, community, about pages, all the little tabs that you see on these pages. You want to have some customized content and then your social media links. Um, so you'll see here, it's very hard to see, but we have these little tiny links here that you're able to add into your website. Um, and these are to go to your business social media. So anytime we share social media, it needs to be in a business capacity. People are not looking um, to connect with you on a personal level. They may not care that you're sharing pictures on your personal Facebook profile of your dog or your grandmom or what you had for lunch. They're looking to connect with you in a business way. Um, what do you have to offer? You know, a little bit more about your profile. Do you have some listings? Do you have some great articles to share? Some great brand serve tiles, those types of things. And I will send you this particular presentation because you'll see here we have some great examples of agents who have really stepped it up and started working on their website um, so i'll click through um, it may not because i'm in presentation mode it's not going to let me uh, click through but we're just going to go over here um, and we'll go ahead and pull up sandy bratchers um, and you'll see here she has a specific layout she has her information here we have the logo, everything is compliant. Um, she's got some specific stuff in here. I can click through, I can get to her quarterly report for 2021 through Prospect Square. Um, she's got a video here. That's very important as well because it comes from YouTube and Google owns YouTube. So if I have some YouTube videos, my listing concierge videos, some Coldwell Banker commercials, things like that, if I have them, on my website, um, then I'll be able to come up a little bit further in the search results, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so here she has a couple of Cobalt Banker commercials, some featured properties, some community served. So she's really been working hard on her website. She's got some information here about her. She does have the pro version, so she has some blogs included. Again, not completely necessary. If you wanna go that route, you can. Uh, she has different testimonials from different clients um, as well. So you'll see that she has worked on her website um, a little bit there. Uh, and as well as you, when I send this to you, you will be able to click on them. I promise it's just because I'm in presenter mode. Um, the other place that you have a profile is Cobalt Banker Homes and CobaltBanker.com. And where you're going to be able to access that is actually through desk. So if we go to mycvdesk.com and we go to CV Homes Admin, that's where you're going to see some of your information will automatically flow through. It will come through Trident, which is how you get paid. We also have um, where you can you know, import your headshot. You can change your headshot if you need to, if you have a new one. Um, again, making sure it looks like it is everywhere else. Uh, you can add your social media links, your website link as well. 
um, customized sections again for your your bio any awards will automatically come through uh, testimonials professional experience you can also add a video if you would like again that could be a youtube video from Cobble banker or maybe you have a very short video of you introducing yourself and then here we have some examples of very good Cobble banker homes profiles um also cobblebanker.com that does also feed from the same information and in cb homes admin if you are a certified global luxury property specialist, you will also have a profile on coldwellbankerluxury.com as well. So again, all of this information is found in the same section and then some other agents who have good profiles. Um, so we also have third party real estate websites that will feature you, your photo, your bio, and again, as we said earlier, we know that many, many people are going to the internet now. The very first, um, the very first impression that you have of someone is going to be online. Uh, they're going to meet you online. They're going to check you out. If the neighbor says, "Hey, Susie Q is my agent. You know, I bought my house a couple years ago. She was fantastic. You need to call her." They're not just going to call you most likely. They're going to go to Google. They're going to look you up. They want to see what do you look like? What is your bio? What kind of experience or expertise do you have? Um, you know, where do you do business? And ultimately, what sets you apart from the competitors? Um, and a lot of times people will call you because they got that referral, but they will look you up. Um, so just like we say when people do a property search, the very first appointment is that virtual appointment where they're checking the property out online and determining do they want to come see it in person do they really want to buy this property they're checking you out online as well one of those places is zillow <coughs> excuse me so we know that zillow has changed a lot in the recent year um, there is a help center where you can get some more robust information but it's very important to have a profile Zillow, although in the real estate world as agents, we may not like Zillow. I know I, for one, do not like Zillow, um, but it's where all the people go. People know what Zillow is. People frequent Zillow. Um, so I want to make sure that people, when they find me on Zillow, they're finding all of the good stuff. Um, they want to, I want to make sure my contact information is there, that I have a face, that I'm not one of those bubbles with the little silhouette in it. Um, again, my social media for business, a link to my website, and that's what I find a lot of agents miss. Put that link to your website. When they pull you up, they will be able to click on it and get straight to your website and leave Zillow behind, hopefully. Um, any designations that you have earned, um, always be I'm mindful as well with designations that some are evergreen, you can use them forever, and some you do have to pay for on a yearly basis. So just make sure that you're up to date on those. Um, your bio, you can link all of your listings and your sales via the MLS. Now sales, you do have to input yourself, um, but your listings will automatically come over. You can add video, and this is where you can get reviews. And again, I don't know too many agents that are still utilizing Zillow for those reviews, um, but you can continue to do that right now. Um, you can take those reviews once you receive them. You can put them onto your agent in touch website. Very easy way to add them in the background. They will appear on your website as well as um, being able to push them out on social media as well on your Facebook or your Instagram business pages. We do have some brand serve tiles that you can complete that will automatically uh, make them look really good for when you're pushing them out. Um, and you'll see here some really good. And again, I'll send this to you. You can click through and see for time's sake. We're not going to click on all the things um, or go to all the things. Um, but you'll see some really good Zillow profiles of active agents, um, Cobble Banker agents that we work with. Uh, Realtor.com is the same. You can also get uh, referrals, reviews, recommendations, things of that nature on Realtor.com. I've had a few agents that are like, well, if I send them to Zillow to give me a review, I'm not going to send them to Realtor.com. I'm not going to send them to 50 places. That's completely up to you. 
Um, I like to start the transaction and the relationship, letting someone know that I'm going to give them five star service. I'm going to check with them throughout the transaction to make sure I'm going to remind them that I'm going to be asking for a five star review. Um, it's very important to let them know you want five stars. There are people out there, I am included, um, that are not going to give you all the stars unless you ask for them. Um, you really have to wow some people to get that. So asking for it lets them know that's what you want. Um, and then you're able to take, again, those reviews, share them on your website, share them on social media. Um, and a lot of this will have the same information as Zillow. Realtor.com, we know, is all over TV. They have lots of commercials on YouTube, on television. People go there a lot. Um, they do update every 15 minutes. Um, so as soon as you add or delete anything from your profile, it should be pretty active pretty soon. And we have some information here um, for different agents that have a very robust profile. So you can see what that looks like. <coughs> Excuse me, homes.com, again, probably not as well versed as Zillow um, or Realtor.com. You'll see that I did skip over Trulia. They are now owned by Zillow. Um, so they don't really have a lot of agent profiles anymore. It does really concentrate more on homes, but safe to say anything that you put on Zillow should translate to Trulia.com as well. Um, with homes, you do want to have your contact information. Obviously, we always want to have a face, uh, that social media, the link to the bio, um, I'm sorry, the link to the website, also your bio. You can also get endorsements on homes.com. And I find that this is a relatively underutilized website. So if you're able to get many endorsements, that will greatly improve uh, how you show on homes.com. And we have an example of an agent who has a very good profile. Um, LinkedIn is usually the underrated of all of the places that people can find you. Um, but LinkedIn is really one of those places where even people who refuse to do social media oftentimes will have a LinkedIn profile because it's business related. It really is your digital resume. Um, so it's important to have your headshot, uh, have a short bio, a homepage banner that you can get in brand serve or create your own, um, any kind of endorsements and testimonials. And LinkedIn is not one of those things. I've had agents say to me, well, you know, I'm already spending time buying and selling real estate and I'm trying to do Facebook and Instagram. I just don't have time to do LinkedIn. You don't have to post frequently. Um, have a profile on there where somebody can find you, they can see your information, they can get all the good details about you. Um, even if you're not posting frequently, at least you're accessible and you're also able to engage with other agents and just people that you know in life, you know, hey, let me send you something on LinkedIn. We can be connected there if in no other way. Um, and you'll see here again, some examples a really good and excuse that typo there. Uh, it is for LinkedIn. Um, so part of your digital profile is how you come up in a Google search ranking. Um, now we know if we go to Google right now and we type in Baltimore homes for sale on the first page, more than likely we are going to find big companies. We're going to find Coldwell Banker Realty, all of the other local companies in our area, because guess what? They have all the listings, they have all the info, and Google's going to bring that up first. But there are ways to um, get on some of these search rankings as an agent. Um, again, we want to make sure that if someone were to Google you, that you pop up. Um, and sometimes if you're like me, I have a very common name, um, Angie Myers. If you Google that, you're not going to find real estate. There are lots of people named Angie Myers. It's going to pull up all the celebrities first or people that are famous or want to be famous. Um, but if I type in Angie Myers Coldwell Banker or Angie Myers Real Estate Realtor, those types of things, my information pops up and that's what I want it to do. Um, also, um, if you have some information, uh, so you'll see unique updated content. We want to put that on. That could be videos. That could be you just typing a few things. It could be your bio. Uh, community information. Your community served will help you profusely when it comes to 
coming up on a Google search. Um, I have an agent now who comes up if you Google Elkton. Uh, she does pop up quite frequently um, depending on your search because she has Elkton in her SEO for her website. Um, you are able to go into your website and add a search engine optimization title. You're able to add a meta description title. Um, and what those would be is if you were to get, uh, Google something right now, um, all of the search results are going to come up with blue titles and little paragraphs underneath that are kind of telling you what that page is about. That blue title is the SEO title. And that little description is the meta description. I always look at that as more of a card catalog for those of you that might be my age or older uh, that remember those card catalogs in the library. If we were looking for something, we're researching, we're looking for that information. We go to the card catalog. It's going to give us a title and a little bit about what we're looking for. And then we can determine if that's the book that we need. It's kind of the same thing for the Internet. It just helps Google search the card catalog when someone's looking for something. What does Google serve up? And you'll notice this if you're like me, I do a lot of Google searches. Um, sometimes you have to word them very specifically to see what, you know, get what you're looking for. Um, but if you blog, even if you are not pro, you're able to go in and create custom content to blog. Again, adding those videos, especially if they're from YouTube, um, even more so if you have your own YouTube channel. Um, and I would say if you do listing concierge, if you utilize listing concierge, um, get with your field marketing specialist. We can show you how to create your own YouTube channel. And even if the only thing that you are pushing out are your listing concierge videos, you have additional content there. You can put those videos on your website. You can share them on social media. When someone Googles you, your YouTube channel should also pop up. Because again, remember, Google owns YouTube. So of course they want to push out their own as much uh, as possible. And the website authority. So does your website include key terminology? So where this says Mid-Atlantic Real Estate, I may not type Mid-Atlantic Real Estate on my website, but I might say I am your Mid-Atlantic resource for real estate. Something of that nature where it's very, uh, you know, common terminology. I don't look like I'm trying to sprinkle in all those keywords, but they're going to be very organic in my bio and any of the custom content that I include. Um, and then again, as we already kind of mentioned, meta description is the short paragraph of all the text that you place in the website that describes the content of what's on that page. And that just kind of helps, um, that really just kind of helps Google determine what is on that page, why is it important, and why should they serve it up to somebody that's doing a search? <coughs> Excuse me. Another piece of your digital profile would be any specific branding that you have for you, for yourself and your business. We know we are independent contractors. We know that we are all small businesses, but people out in the public see us as a Caldwell Banker Realty um, agent. So they don't understand that we are our own small business. Um, so this is something that you're able to do. Caldwell Banker has seen the need for it. If you're interested, of course, not, not required, um, but you're able to create your own personal brand. You can have your own colors. You can have your own logo. Maybe you have your own slogan. Um, you can have those things. We have professional designers and copywriters. And I will tell you from personal experience working with an agent in the Towson office, um, her son is a digital um, graphic design artist, what, whatever they call them. Um, and he works for a company. And because he was going through his company, um, you know, his mom came to him and said, hey, you know, I'm looking to do my own logo, my own branding. Here are all the things that I want to do. Can you tell me how much it would cost if I went through your company? Um, and he gave her a total. And she said design concierge beat that total by leaps and bounds. So of course, she has someone in her family that does this. 
Uh, but she decided to go through Design Concierge. She got a wonderful logo. She's able to put that everywhere. Um, and I can tell you just from personal experience, um, having done a lot of marketing for a team that I was on, we were doing the exact same types of marketing. Once we got a logo and we started putting that on everything, people started asking us, what are you doing differently? We see you everywhere. And we weren't doing anything differently, but we were more recognizable. Um, and that always goes back to think of different brands that you buy or that you know. If I say Coca-Cola right now, I bet you can picture their logo in your mind or Pepsi or Under Armour. Uh, we can picture those things. They're big companies. Um, but I can also tell you the local coffee coffee in the festival I know what their logo looks like. And they're a mom and a pop shop, but they still have their own little logo um, that makes them stand out from the rest. Um, so I do have this again, I'll send it to you. There's an overview in here of the products. These are linked um, as well as a portfolio of work, of actual work for actual agents that's been done. If you're like me, um, you know, I might be interested in having someone create my logo for me or a pro personal brochure. Maybe I want my bio to be professionally written um, by, by, you know, a professional writer. Um, that's great, but I want to see what they've done for other agents first. I just don't want to take someone's word for it. Um, even if it's the marketing team, no offense, I work for them, but I like to see what's actually already gone on and, and been created. Uh, you can do semi-custom, you can do custom product products. They do have packages available. And this is kind of a very short, uh, condensed overview to make your brand stand out from the crowd. Uh, they do have an essentials package now, a brand boost, a disruptor package. You can see many things involved with that. Um, they have advertising. If you do listing concierge, if you utilize that program, you can have custom templates created for that. Uh, property marketing through that, professional bio copy, a personal brochure, business cards designed just for you. Um, of course, your own logo, very um, fancy email signature that incorporates your logo. All of your social media makes you very compliant, flyers, postcards, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that helps you to leave your mark on your digital profile. Another aspect of your digital profile is your footprint and where you are online. Um, and we know that you're short on time. Uh, you need easy ways to advertise. You want to get your listings to more clients or get your information to potential clients while increasing that digital footprint. Online advertising can be hard. <clears throat> uh, Facebook ads manager is not always the easiest thing to use and it can be very expensive but you also wanna have control over what you're pushing out. We wanna make sure that we're following fair housing guidelines and all of compliance things, um, and we want dedicated support. Uh, so we do have social ad engine. Um, so quick facts, just to throw it out there. Um, it is a DIY solution for some of your advertising. It does only do social media. Um, you can go right in through mycvdesk.com. Um, all of these ads run on Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp. And yes, even if you don't do the IG, as my son says, um, you will still be on Instagram. Um, now, you do have to have a Facebook business page set up and running in order to be able to use this, um, but it does give you ads that are already created for you. You can go in and change the text. You can change the photos, but it's basically created for you. You can go in and run it. This is paid advertising, uh, but the thing that I like about it is you can put in your own URL. Um, so when you're getting traffic, you can it will go exactly where you want it to on your website. If you have a custom page set up, if you want to send them to your landing page for selling a home or they give you their information, you can do that. Um, and it was built only for Coldwell Banker agents. So Coldwell Banker sat down with Facebook and said, look, we need an easier way for our agents to push out ads on Facebook. Um, how can we make it as easy as possible? And you'll see here, it's just really, you just go through, edit the information, choose the photos, where do you want this targeted? 
and then here's your budget, you pay for it and you're done. Um, so again, customizing your copy, your photos, the targeting, plus you get um, what I find a little easier to read. You get, uh, you have a reporting dashboard, you can do seller reports. And if you have an agent ad, you can also get reports to track that success for your campaign. So it'll actually tell you, you know, how many people viewed it, how many people engaged, how many people clicked through. And we know that sometimes we have different objectives. Uh, so some agents really are keen on awareness. I want to showcase on um, the high visibility of the listing to my seller, or I want to push out an agent ad and I want to be as highly visible on social media as possible. I want to drive as much traffic to my website or I just want to get leads. I want someone to click on it, fill their information out in a lead form. I want to get that information. It's going to ring to my phone and then I can follow up and nurture as I need to. We also have a uh, boost by home spotter or home spotter boost. You'll hear them called both. I'm not sure why, um, but boost is a really great function as well. You get Facebook and Instagram advertising, as well as the World Wide Web. You get the entire internet um, so that you are showcased or your listing is showcased in front of thousands of buyers and sellers across the web. Um, so you'll see here, this is just kind of a snapshot of what it looks like. And you'll see again, ESPN, Forbes, HDTV, the Weather Channel, my personal favorite, uh, New York Times, Reuters, um, all kinds of things, NBC Sports. So all the places that people are going on a daily basis, you're going to be served up and you're going to be visible to them. Um, so Boost by Home Spotter, again, the, the main thing about it is promoting yourself. So it's great for your digital footprint because it increases where people find you. Um, you're more easily accessible. It promotes you or your listing. Um, so you can create that custom ad with your name and contact information. It advertises you. If you send it out for a listing, you'll see here that your name, your face is included. Uh, you can target buyers who live in those particular areas. And again, you're on many, many different sites online. Win the listing, impress your sellers, letting them know that not only are you going to put them on, on social media because, hey, everybody does that, right? I'm going to put you on the internet as well. Is it expensive? It is, but I'm already invested in selling your property. I want to make sure that we are not, you know, we're leaving no stone unturned. I need to find the best buyer for your property. Um, and doing that, I'm going to put you everywhere on the internet. I will let you know if you do listing concierge, you do get a boost by a home spotter ad with your order. Um, you can also go in for a listing ad and include the seller's information and target that seller. They will never know that you did that, just their name and email. It will not be sold or utilized by Boost or Coldwell Banker for any reason, um, but the ad will follow them around the internet. And if you have prospective sellers, you can put their information in and it will follow them around the internet as well. And what that does, again, that increases your digital profile. Now I'm seeing you everywhere on the internet. You must be the agent I need to work with because wow, you're everywhere. Um, and we know that brands that are everywhere, they must be really important, right? Um, so quick facts, again, just a social media partner for the listing concierge, but you can use it above and beyond. Um, it is a DIY, so you can go in and order anytime. Um, we have active, open, sold, new price positions, agent branding. Uh, there's also open houses in there. Um, so lots of different ways to get your properties out there. Um, your ads are promoted on Facebook, on Instagram, and in the digital network. So again, you're going to have those little ads that follow people around. Uh, we know when we search for an area rug and then we see little ads for area rugs everywhere. Um, or if you're like me and you mentioned Dunkin' Donuts and turn on YouTube and there's a Dunkin' Donuts commercial, they're they're watching us, um, which I'm OK with because I want to be served up things that I'm interested in that I'm looking for. Um, your traffic is going to be sent to a landing page um, where all the leads are, co are collected. 
um, and you are able to get in there and get all of those leads, the names and the email addresses. Um, great follow up is to place them in your in touch CRM, that client relationship management tool. Set them up on drip marketing, send them personal emails to introduce yourself, set them up on prospect square reports. Um, if I am advertising a listing in the Towson area, I'm going to set them up on a prospect square report for the Towson area. Um, if they choose to unsubscribe, they're not my people, but that might be something where I'm showing them that I'm the area expert. I'm giving them valuable information, even if they're not really serious at the time, they're only looking around um, because that's the other thing we need to remember with a digital footprint. People start the process and may not move for 18 to 24 months. So how am I connecting with them as an agent, getting their information and then staying in front of them? I want to be top of mind. I don't want them to forget who I am. And when it's time for them to make a move, I want them to call me and not another agent. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this chart here is just going to kind of show you um, some of the differences between Home Spotter Boost and Social Ad Engine. Um, so you'll see here lead qualification questions available. Social Ad Engine does have that. If you place an ad to get some listings, it will ask them for their name, their information that will autofill, but it will ask them some qualifying questions as well that you're allowed to choose. Um, from a drop down menu, you know, are you currently looking to buy or sell a home? You know, how soon are you looking to move those kind of things? Um, targeting the seller that's in home spot or boost or specific users. So maybe I have an entire list um, that I want to send my marketing to. I can do that. Um, seller tracker again in home spot or boost, but not um, social ad engine. And then traffic leads and awareness, different types of ads can be found in social ad engine. So it really depends on how you're looking to increase your digital footprint and your ad awareness um, is how you would use those things. Also, we have Real Vitalize, and I won't go into a lot of detail with that, but the markability, uh, marketability, you know what I mean, um, is really there with this program, getting the word out, letting people know that you have this program, increasing that digital footprint even further, reaching those people who really want to sell their home, but maybe they have some things that they need to do first. They don't have the money to do them out of pocket. They're waiting, 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 and they don't have to wait anymore. Uh, we know that the market is starting to shift. Uh, we've, we've never really had a market like this before. No bubble coming anytime soon or really any at all. Um, but we want to let people know that if they want to sell their house and they want to get in on this awesome market. Now is the time. Um, so again, with Real Vitalize, no minimum project costs, no minimum or maximum home price, no fees, no interest, no markups, no obligations, no liens. This program is amazing. Um, and we have some marketing that goes with it. Um, I will concentrate for this purpose on the social media marketing because again, your digital footprint, you have social media, push it out on social media, let people know. Not only do they give you the tiles, guys, now they're giving you the actual information that you can use to the copy that you can use as well. You are not required to use this copy, but I've had a lot of agents say, look, I had this great tile to post. I love this kitchen. I think it's really going to attract some potential buyers or sellers. Um, but I don't know what to say. It's going to it's going to give you something, um, even if it's just a diving board for you to, you know, personalize that yourself. Um, just know that that is there as well. Um, you can include this information on your agent in touch website. So it gives you that custom content. It's something I had an agent that built an entire page dedicated to, to Real Vitalize and it was able to share that to social media and it sent everyone back to her website. So that was a way that she increased her digital footprint. She had a few friends that shared it. Um, it's information that you may be able to share depending on the Facebook groups that you are in. Information that you can share, it's very valuable as well. 
Um, with that, I always like to put out there since we're doing digital uh, footprint and advertising and marketing. Um, if you do any kind of paid advertising, so if you do publications, newspapers, if you're going to be the digital aspect, if you're going to be on someone else's website, um, I have seen that before. Just let marketing go over it to make sure that you are compliant. We, we're not going to go through with a red pen. Uh, we're only here to make sure that your brand marks, your, your logo, things of that nature, your legally required disclaimers, your fair housing symbol, th those things are included. Uh, we ask for seven days. We can usually get it back to you much quicker. Um, so anything that you're utilizing, and that goes for anything that you're doing. If you want to sit with your field marketing specialist to place your social ad engine ad, <clears throat> to place a Boost My Home Spotter ad, to go through your website, to find out what would be some great content for you to post on social media. That's what we're here for. Um, but definitely, yes, and I will send you a copy. No, no issues at all. If you have to run, definitely always an appointment is is very crucial. Um, so no problem at all with that. Um, and then, of course, we do have brand serve. Um, so it wouldn't be a digital footprint. I couldn't really talk to you about your your digital footprint without letting you know that we do have brand serve. You can access all of the the newer North Star Coldwell Banker Realty logos. Um, we do know in the state of Maryland, uh, we have to have our logo and our um, our entire company name as it appears on our pocket card on our real estate license so for us we can't ever say Coldwell Banker we have to say Coldwell Banker Realty Coldwell Banker was very snazzy when they built this logo to be more digital um, our old logo we had for 40 some years it just was not great in the digital world they did create our new logo the CB star is technically the logo part so because we have that Coldwell Banker Realty written out you are compliant with real estate law. So I really appreciate how they they did that on purpose. Um, you know, making sure that you have up-to-date brand visuals, images. Uh, you can go through my CV desk. If you've never been in BrandServe before, you do have to get access the first time, <clears throat> but it doesn't take too long to get access. Um, and again, you can just click on that tile in desk. Um, I will give you a, a clue, a little hint, um, little best practice here once you've been in there and you're looking for something i don't ever need to go through marketing assets look through social look for holiday i can literally and i do type in holiday and not holidays um, because the folder is called 2020 holiday images or something um so holiday that'll bring up all your holidays um you can type in market update different things small business shout out and you can get directly to some of these digital images that you would need to utilize. Um, you'll also see before earlier, I did say that they have some marketing copy that's included. Um, you'll find that at the additional information link um, right here, and that will pull it up for you kind of in a, in a Word doc, and you can go through and literally copy and paste um, and sometimes they'll let you know specifically, um, you know, what copy is for which image. Uh, I find this, I love this. I have an English degree and sometimes, you know, you have writer's block, you're you're busy, you're buying and selling real estate, you're filling out paperwork, you're trying to get paid. You don't have time to think about what you want to post. Again, I can start with gardening fun can be one of the best parts of easy summer living. And I can say what I want after that or just use what I want out of that. Um, we do have some co home care advice for prospecting. Great way to share um, on social media. Include that with your, your digital footprint. Um, again, it's just pushing you out further and further with good, valuable information. Um, every month, we do have an energy saving tip. Um, so that's something that you're able to put out on your InTouch website. You can push that out on social media. Um, there, I do believe in in touch. There may be postcards for those things. So again, pushing that out and including that in your digital profile. Some national spring selling season, and again, these are good. Probably, pretty much any time at all. I'm definitely going to let people know um, that as a Coldwell Banker Realty agent, 
we sell properties for 13.3% higher than the national average. I don't know anybody that doesn't want to get more money for their home. <clears throat> so take these and use them to your advantage. Some quotables for last year, um, August 27th of this year, Coldwell Banker does turn 115 years old. Um, so definitely something very cool there. Um, and you'll see holiday campaigns. This this tab is a little bit older. You'll see a lot of them um, from May, but every every holiday now they have a lot more diversity. You guys asked for it. Marketing asked for it. Um, for example, we had Mental Health Awareness Month in May, so that was great to see that included. Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, uh, Jewish American Heritage Month, um, just some different things. And we have lots of different holidays, not just the Christian holidays. We have some Muslim holidays, um, some Hindi holidays in there as well. You can also create a small business shout out. This is a fantastic way to stretch your digital profile. Um, and as I see that, uh, what I mean by that is you're sharing that out on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, these are some of the ones that I did personally just for my business page. They're local places, people that I know, um, you know, letting them know, hey, I want to get you out there. What can I do? Um, my local town grill and pub. Um, I live in a very small area, so everybody in my area knows this place and they pushed my post out on their on their Facebook page. Uh, my friend Christy, I had 11 shares to her friends, her family. Those Some of those people came and started following me on Facebook. I actually got a referral. I'm a licensed referral agent, so I did get a referral out of that one. Someone that she knew called me up and was like, hey, I need real estate You know, help. What can you do for me? So just a great way, again, getting you out there in, in the digital world. Um, and increasing your sphere of influence because now all of these people know who I am um, and I can reach out and say, hey, do you have a small business? How can I help you? Um, and of course, they're going to remember me a lot more after I've done that for them. Um, market updates are another great way to push information out to social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, all the places that you are. Um, you can get this information from Market Snapshot, which is new. We have the Market Snapshot now in Market Quest V2. You can also get this information um, from the market update there or also from your Prospect Square report. Um, and then of course we have our agent marketing plan. Don't forget to go into desk. You can search for the uh, 2021 agent marketing plan. You will find a comprehensive marketing plan that will go through a lot of the tools and help you to build your digital profile, uh, build your website, learn some of the tools that can increase your business very much so. Um, and we do have brand standards and an identity guide in BrandServe. If you're looking for more information as you build your digital footprint, maybe you're looking for uh, what is the Coldwell Banker Blue color code. Um, I want to put that on my website or I'm interested in finding out how can I utilize the logo um, to my advantage. Um, so we do have some core tools. Again, I will send this out between desk, CBX plus Moxie present, <coughs> me, in touch, your market area and quarterly reports in Prospect Square. Um, lots of different help resources. There's a very robust help center in desk. Um, core four tools. So, you know, you can get started and in touch. Again, look in, in Prospect Square. We do have CV briefs, um, which you can find as well. Some great local information and market updates for our area through Caldwell Banker. And then I have my information. If you are in my pod, if you um, are in one of my offices, you're able to go in, um, set up an appointment with me or your field marketing specialist, whoever that is in your area, um, you're able to book an appointment with, with him or her and you're able to, um, you know, dive in, figure out the best ways to increase your digital footprint. Again, we know that so many things are virtual now. Um, it's great and it's still essential to have, um, you know, print marketing. We do want to do direct mail. We do want to have yard signs. Uh, we do want to have, you know, 
dot signal writers and all the things that are going to help us build our business, handwritten notes and walking a neighborhood, um, you know, door to door and, and meeting people. Um, but it's really important to have a digital president. Uh, presence. When someone meets us or someone refers us to someone, they're going to go to the internet. They're going to look us up. What are they finding? Um, and probably last but not least, I will say the most essential part of your digital profile is it's never quite finished. Um, so I might have a very robust digital profile today. I do want to make sure within the next six months that I'm going through and I'm tweaking it a little bit. It's always new, it's always fresh. Google notices those things. Yahoo, Bing, all of the search engines, they're looking for pages that are current. They don't want someone to do a search and then they're sending them to someone's website and they haven't made updates in five years. Who even knows that that person is still in business? Um, so it's really important that you're constantly going in. If you're adding something, if you're rewriting something, maybe it's just rewording. I had an agent the other day that went in and literally shifted some paragraphs around in, in something she had written, made sure that it still sounded good, and just changed that. Um, so very important to always be as current as possible. Um, and then also, what I like to do is find some of the people in my circle and I ask them, can you find me on the internet? What are you seeing? What would your suggestions be? Um, and look for yourself on the internet. Go to your own Agent in Touch website as a consumer would. What are you seeing? What would you look for as a homeowner or a potential seller? And are you finding that on your website? Um, so those are just some of the things that you can do to increase and maximize your digital footprint. Um, I think we tend to forget that we're in so many places as real estate agents, um, and we never know who's going to send us a referral. We never know who's going to connect with us. Um, it could be someone, as I had a, several months ago, uh, you know, someone I went to course, sang in course with in high school. And, you know, started following me on my business page on Facebook, reached out and said, hey, I need to buy a home. Um, you know, I've noticed that you're very active with everything that you do. Um, it seems you really know the market very well. Can you help me? Of course, I'm, uh, you know, if I was a, a regularly licensed agent, I would have helped him immediately. But I was able to refer him to a great agent um, to work with and buy a home. Um, so with that, we do have just a few minutes left. I like to be very considerate and respectful of your time. I know you guys are so busy buying and selling real estate. Um, does anybody have any questions at this time? You can put it in chat if you don't want to be, uh, you know, and we'll we'll stop the recording too. Um, that way you don't.